What's going on guys, it's your boy Ooze and we are back again once again and I'm super hyped because we got some important news to share with you guys, to talk to you guys with, to discuss on and to report on a bunch of things that are confirmed for this upcoming Battle for the Grid Power Rangers fighting game. All right, now we already know a couple things like, you know, the cross play compatibility. It's going to be on every major console, which is actually really big. You know, of course, it's not a port, um, things like that. Some a couple a couple uh, confirmed playable characters. But recently there has been an article that completely details just about everything and then some that we probably already knew and some things that we didn't know. So I'm going to pretty much go through this list and talk to you guys about it in detail and get you guys my reaction um, and my review of what what we can expect and what we know so far, kind of break it down a little bit. Um, uh, and a huge shout out to my boy Trap Lord Huey for even pointing this one out to me because I have actually not been on the GoNintendo.com website. So again, big shout out to GoNintendo.com, big shout out to uh, Trap Lord Huey for putting, pointing me in uh, this direction. But here we go. We're going to just go right into this right now because this is a long list of things that you know we can expect. And in this game, it is already seeming to be very promising. I will say that right now. Okay. Now, first and foremost, again... This is a brand new game. This is not a game. This is not, like this is not a game that's a port of Legacy War. I know that that's probably one of the things that people have been confirmed or, or concerned with. Um, but at the, as, as you can see right here, right at the top, this game is not a mobile port, and a straight mobile port was never considered. Never considered. Okay, like this is this is something that a lot of y'all were worried about. But right off the bat, that's the first thing that they had to. Sure. Also, really quick, um, this is an of course, like this says in the article, had an information overload on Power Rangers Battle of the Grid lately, and still more to share. Another wave of details shared by the vice president of creative at Enway, Steve Kuroki. So shout out to my man Steve Kuroki san over there at Enway, sharing all these deets and making sure that the fans of you know the Power Rangers franchise franchise and fans of fighting games can get a good amount of detail and information to go forward and not to mention another thing that we do know is that the game is only $20 guys $20 fighting game they're really going all in i know that my boy Justin Wong over there is you know part of the dev team with balancing the game out so you know I'm not really saying if that's a bad or a good thing but that is a veteran professional fighting game player that will take part in this whole entire you know game just to make sure that it is valid a valid game at that okay so here we go let's go right into it so visuals will built will built from the ground up gameplay controls are in line with a traditional fighter so that means that we can expect you know um traditional like quarter circle back uh, uh, a quarter circle back, um, half circle motions, DP motions, aka dragon punch motion, aka Shoryuken. All right, so I'm expecting some fireballs, some 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 dragon punches, uh, a bunch of a bunch of different type of unique moves utilizing this kind of controller um, setup. All right, you have full control of everyone on your team. 3v3 so this is Power Rangers meets Marvel meets Dragon Ball Fighters. Okay. All right, all right. I, I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be 1v1 based off of the trailer because, again, you can definitely have 1v1 games with assists. We've seen that in the past. We've definitely seen 2v2, but this is a 3v3 game. So they're going with this format, okay? Now, this is, whew, oh, man, this, <laughs> this is actually going to be is even a little, it's even more interesting now because I didn't expect that all this. But, again, I'm expecting to see a lot of Rangers then. And, and granted, I guess 3v3 does make sense because this is Power Rangers. You know, we're used to seeing teams of five. And, you know, some seasons have teams of three. So you could potentially see, you know, teams like Ninja Storm. Teams like, well, RPM didn't have, well, they had five. But, you know, at the be at the very beginning, they did have three. If we're going to reference Gohanja for a second. Uh -huh, my Tokusatsu is coming out of me. Sorry. Uh, who else? We had three. Ninja Storm, I said already. Dino Thunder, of course, had three. Um, Go Buster. Why am I saying Go Buster? Freaking Beast Morphers, the brand new team, the brand new team that's coming out. Okay, um, you know that that team is starting off with three. Even though I know they're gonna get a team of five, and maybe hopefully we'll get an exclusive American. Um, but that, that's I, I digress. Three v three is cool. 
Use them for an assist, attack, or full-on swap out to take full control. So again, very reminiscent to Marvel and Dragon Ball Fighters. Uses the Unity engine. Okay, really cool. The game has been in development for a year. So they've been doing this, John, under wraps without saying nothing. They have not said a single thing, and that's good that this ha this game has been a complete surprise and I'm happy that you know this is this is what we've been what they've been working on this is what we're getting controls allow for both simple combos and freeform combos of your own so this might okay so right here this sounds like this is definitely more along the Marvel Dragon Ball Fighters types of things where they say uh, simple controls or freeform combos meaning that you can pretty much link a lot of your normals and specials together which is really good because that makes that makes it a very creative kind of game. It makes it so that, you know, a lot of combos are basically, you know, possible. I'm not sure if this is gonna, that means infinites, but I'm I, I hope that infinites are completely not a thing because that I, I know that a lot of people will not like that, even though I'm sure some will. <laughs> but I can tell you I'm not gonna be one of them. So I'm not trying to play these one-player games where, you know, I'm stuck in a combo loop for, for days and I can't even get to play. So, but, the, you know, that does that that is cool that you don't just have, like, your set combos and you can only expect to do, you know, one string. You could do, like, basically anything that, you know, within range of, you know, your character's limbs and reach and all that kind of stuff. Hitboxes, hurtbox, all that good stuff. So that's awesome. The dev plans... The devs plan to release new characters after launch, so DLC confirmed, of course. Naturally, we live in a day and age where DLC is expected. Moves, attacks, take inspiration from the show. Whoo, that's a good one. That is a good one. So, for those that are wondering if we're going to see my man, Dragon Ranger, a.k.a. Tommy Oliver, a.k.a. Green Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power to do the Hadouken, they, I'm sure... He's going to get that projectile, okay? I am almost positive he's going to get that projectile. He's probably going to get the Sword of Darkness as well. All right, that's my that's my prediction. Not a spoiler, okay? I have no idea because I, I, they have not given me early access yet, which I'm hoping they do. So if anyone from the Battle of Grid team is watching this, you you know your boy is ready for this game, all right? You, you know. You already know, okay? All right, where are we? So we got, there are a lot of surprises coming up in the next few weeks that fans should be very excited about. Okay, when it comes to this, I would expect to hear more news on possibly game modes, roster, um, you know, things like that. Maybe some, um, uh, what do you call it? Maybe some, some new information on, you know, possible voice acting. Because we already saw Tom, uh, Jason David Frank, who obviously um, reprises his role as, you know, all the ranges that he's ever been. Um, he's been, he was in the first trailer for the game, so that, that's a huge selling point right there. Can imagine them pulling in some of the other actors that, you know, their ranger would be in the game to possibly, you know, voice them. That'd be kind of cool, um, as a surprise. And I guess we're gonna have to wait and find out. Fighting takes place on a 2D plane. Obvious stuff right here. We see that in the trailer. This is not a 3D game like Tekken or Soul Calibur where you can move, um, you know, on an X and Y, Z axis, basically, this is all 2D, Y axis, all right, or X axis, I, it's been a long time since I've been in math class, all right, so I, excuse, <laughs> excuse me for that one, okay, currently, the only way you'll be able to get skins is through DLC, uh, through DLCs, but that's still being decided upon, okay, so the, oh, see, that's something I didn't even know, the only way you'll, you'll only be able to get skins through DLCs, Okay, so that means, all right, so basically, you can only get skins through DLCs as of right now. Skins, I'm sure, could potentially mean that we might be able to play as the person behind the, the helmet, all right, or under the helmet. Because, you know, for crying out loud, I mean, Jason David Frank is a popular actor. He's a popular personality, all right? You know, I'm sure it would be dope as hell to play as Tommy Oliver, the person, you know? It would be dope as hell to play as Sierra Hanna, the female. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that John would be kind of cool. Um, that would kind of be a surprise. And I, that actually never occurred to me if um, we would get alternate colors of certain ranges. I mean, I never would have expected that. Maybe like newer, a more updated outfits, possibly like alternate designs that we never have have seen before. Like I know, like you know, rangers like the green and the white ranger we've seen updated. Um, outfits, you know, like in uh, in like Battle of the Sun, um, in, in in you know other kind of fan made 
um, you know, uh, projects like that. That'd be cool to see in this game as well. Season 1 pass will include three fighters, an arcade story, and a new warrior skin. Those three fighters will be launched at time passes, as time passes, and not all on day one. Okay, so that's good to know. So we will be getting three fighters as in, included within the season one pass, um, and an arcade story, and, and a new warrior skin. So th that's pretty dope. And the three fighters will be launched at the, at, as time passes, not on day one. Okay, so they're going to spread out the time of release for these characters. That's really good. That's not too bad. Um, game includes a full training and practice mode. That's very important, okay? Because I know a lot of people, so, you know, they love to be in the lab. They love to practice their combos. They like to get things down to the nitty-gritty, the bread and butters. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's a very good thing to do. Sometimes people don't even, you know, I, I know people have streams where they just be in the practice mode and training mode, just be in the lab, just trying to hone their combos, like, test their might, all that kind of stuff. That's good. That is good. And, you know, because sometimes... You know, some games, they don't even have this. And, and that's important to have. And, of course, crossplay between the Switch, Xbox One, and PC. Guys, this is... Oh, I don't know if they forgot to mention... Oh, okay, here we go. The team is hoping to add in PlayStation 4 cross-platform support later down the line. All right, so that is more of a problem, not with them, not with Enway, not with Battle of the Grid, but that is a problem with Sony, some problem with PlayStation, okay? That's not, not has nothing to do with them because, of course, this is, yet again, one of the few games out there that are trying to support full cross-play between multiple consoles. So, that, so far, Switch, so Nintendo, Microsoft, and PC, Steam, Xbox One, and Switch, they're all playing nice. PlayStation and Sony... They're still trying to have, you know, they're still having a hard time trying to trying to play along with everyone else. All right, but again, like they say, they're hoping to add it on later down the line. That's very good. I'm happy about that. But as it is right now, I know personally, I'm most likely going to be getting this for the Switch, and I will probably get it for the PS4. Not going to lie, because a lot all my fighting games are basically on PS4. But Switch, you know, having that mobility, being able to play it on the go anywhere, literally anywhere in handheld mode. And then, of course, docked once you're home in a comfortable setting. That's very good to do, to have. I know that uh, since because a lot of the fighting games at, you know, competitive levels at tournaments are all mainly on the PlayStation 4, it is pointless, in my opinion, to get on Xbox if you guys are going to try and get it on Xbox. If anything, I might even get it on, on Steam. Just cause, why not? You know, cause I do. I would like, but then again, it doesn't even matter. Cause crossplay, yo, man. Oh man, that's so, that is so hype. Power Rangers is one of the few games. Like Fortnite did it. I know that then there's a handful of other ones, but Power Rangers is on that list now. So shout outs to the team behind this, making it all happen. All right, includes a ranked mode as well as a leaderboard. Okay, so with a ranked mode and a leaderboard, that's good. You know, for all my leaderboard warriors out there, shout outs. I'm looking at you, Catfight. You know, this is good for you guys. This is good to, you know, have um, something to, you know, to, to look at. I know that starting on day one, everyone's going to be trying out, out here to, to be, you know, at the top of that leaderboard. Now, I want to know is if they're going to have specific leaderboards or if it's like a, a general leaderboard or if they're going to have like uh, Ranger specific leaderboards. Like if you're going to rock like, you know, the Green Ranger, if you're the top Green Ranger or something like that, I want to, that's something I want to know. I also want to know if that's going to apply for the ranked mode as well. Similar to like Elite Smash where it's like you have to basically use, a, but that's the thing, I don't know because this is a 3v3 format, who knows? We'll see, we'll have to find out. You'll also be able to easily play with friends online. Good. Because the last time they had a Power Ranger game on console, aka the freaking what i forget what the what the title was called but they released a power ranger game like two years ago and let me tell you something i was very upset with how they did not include an online multiplayer mode because it only supported couch play so it had multiplayer but it was only in-house so you could not play a beat-em-up style power ranger game which you could imagine would be obviously included in a game like that they didn't have that which i was very upset with and it, it, ultimately i didn't play it for much longer i didn't even beat the game unfortunately so there you go characters will Hit poses after long strings of combos, attacks that reflect what they do in the TV shows. So I don't know if this is a way, uh, this is the answer to prevent infinites, but 
to characters that hit poses after launching the combos. That's actually really cool because you know. Then again, now that I think about it, you know, what do Power Rangers do after they, you know, they 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 combo, you know, their 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 uh, enemy like after a long amount of time. You know, they always look to the camera and like, huh, and they, they have a nice freaking look, cool looking pose. Like I think that's dope. I think that's kind of cool. That adds a a new, um, you know, interesting characteristic to the game as well as possibly being the answer to preventing infinites. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. Includes a new selection of grabs as well. Okay, nice. We got grabs in the game confirmed. You have access to a standing guard and a low guard. Oh, okay. That's also very good to know. Stages will be based around a lot of the environments told within the story mode, but they do not have interactive elements. Okay, so we don't have interactive elements. For those that don't know, interactive elements means things that, they go on in the stage. Like, for example, we're looking at Injustice. We're looking at Mortal Kombat. Um, there are going to be certain times during uh, fights on certain stages where you will actually be able to interact with the stage. So, like, for example, like, um, say, like, um, well, I hope oh, this is a bad example because it's kind of weird. But there's a stage in Mortal Kombat. I, I think it's in Mortal Kombat. It might be in Injustice where there's like a there's like a they're, they're fighting like on the water like, on a little, like, a bridge type thing, and then there's, like, dead bodies just, like, flying around or whatever, and if you time it right, you can actually, you have, you have a few frames to actually hit a button to grab that dead body and use it as, like, a projectile weapon if you want, or there's something, like, there could be, like, a, on other stages where there's, like, rope or something, like, a tree limb so that you could hang on to or fling yourself off to gain momentum, things like that, those are what interactive elements are for those that don't know, those will not be present in this game. That's actually kind of a good thing because with three v three with three v three format, I don't know. That would kind of be OD if they had interactive elements. So that's a good call. Good, good thing they don't have that. All right. And then here we go. Last but not least, on this this overhaul, um, there will be fifteen fighters at launch with the following revealed so far. Okay. So here we go. So with the confirmed three DLC characters, we're gonna at least have eighteen fighters for uh, the year of 2019 with planned DLC uh, later down the line. So 18 for the year 2019, that's not bad. For a fighting game, that is not bad. 15 fighters at launch, that is not bad. Start small, and then we'll grow into you know a bigger roster. I like that, okay? I like that. So, so far, we got Mighty Morphin Red Ranger Jason. We got Mighty Morphin Green Ranger Tommy. We got you know, alternate version 2 skin for Tommy, so I'm, I'm sure that's just the same character. We got Megaforce Yellow, G, uh, Gia. We got Draken. Oh, they confirmed Draken? Boy. Oh, it's over. It's over. You guys don't... Oh, no. I, oh, my God. Lord Draken Evil skin number 2, okay? So, and then Pink Ranger, Kimberly suspected to be Ranger Slayer. Ranger Slayer, for those that don't know, is a comic exclusive. That's dope. Shout out to Boom Studios. And then, of course, Mighty Morphin Pink Skin. All right, bet. So that's it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So five characters already have been revealed uh, so far. I'm really glad that they are including Lord Draken. I'm hoping that they give us, like, the Death Ryuger from, from uh, wow, there I go again, saying, saying, saying uh, the, the Sentai terminology. But, uh... The what is it? Dark Ranger? I don't even know what they call the the Death Ranger in uh, Dino Charge. But for those that that know who I'm talking about, it is the 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 dark blue Ranger from Dino Charge, who I'm pretty sure might be the evil Ranger or something. I didn't finish Dino Charge. Uh, sorry, but yeah, I, I just didn't. But I know him as Death Ranger from from uh Kyoto Ranger, and I would love to have him as a playable character. Um, I would imagine just off of popularity. Now, nah, uh -huh. see, that's the thing. I don't know because if the, if the game is going to be 15 at base, I'm thinking they might not even include all of the other, uh, Tommy Rangers because again, my man, Tommy is a legend for, you know, being, this is the only guy in the history of Power Rangers that has been five different Rangers and six, if you want to include the Ninjetti powers. Okay. So again, who knows? I, 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 I would like, me personally, if you're going to ask me what other characters, what other rangers that I want to see, I would definitely want to see um, the White Ranger from um, from Dino Thunder because that, that's a dope design. Um, I would definitely love to see 
some of the um, the Ninja Storm Rangers, maybe Ninja Storm Red, give me uh, the Samurai Ranger, the other another green one. I hope that they really do. Uh, they really do pick a unique color scheme as well for, as far as the Rangers go. Because I know it's like, oh, like are we gonna have like the Red Ranger from every series? Like I don't think that's gonna be a thing. But you know, again, I I I, I think that it's something to really consider. All right, to really consider because again, I don't want, I don't want like a bunch of the same color guys. You know, that's that's what I'm trying to say. So maybe not even the green Samurai Ranger, um, because again, we already have the green Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, and and we're getting Lord Draken. Okay, so that's like two Tommy characters already right there. Okay, so I could go on. This could probably be its own separate video, to be honest. Like, who would I want to have in this game? So we'll have to think about it. We'll have, we'll. Well, I'll have to turn it over to you guys in the comment section. Let me know who y'all want and why in the comments. Maybe we'll have to do a live stream or something like that, going over some of your your guys' comments in the future down the line. Uh, maybe maybe it can happen this week. Who knows? But let me know. I'm looking forward to reading you guys' comments, who you guys want in the game. And and also, like, all that news, like, all everything that you can expect or even want or anticipate for a fighting game they've already confirmed for this and more and beyond and i'm, and I'm looking forward to finding out more information as the information comes out again shout out to trap lord huey for pointing me into this you know article's direction shout out to go nintendo.com for writing the article and shout outs to create uh the vice president of creative at Enway studios steve kuroki huge shout out to everyone behind the game that thus far i cannot wait to play it, I hope I can get some early access. I hope I can get that permission to do content, to do streams. Because, guys, y'all know it's morphing time all the time. Hope y'all have a great day. Again, don't forget to comment what you're looking forward to in this game. Characters you want to see. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. And as always, may the power protect you. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care. Bye. I'll see y'all next time.